Hello, and welcome to the vocabulary lesson for the conversation Music Festival Part 1. This is the first part of a second part conversation and lesson. In this conversation, Joe and I are talking about a big music festival that we went to about a month and a half ago with many of our friends. The festival was in a really big park here in San Francisco. The name of the park is Golden Gate Park. Okay, let's begin with the conversation. I start off by saying, so, and so is just a filler word here. It's not really needed. I say, so, what'd you think of the festival tonight? What did is short for what did. And ya yeah is short for you. So I'm saying, what did you, I'm speaking to Joe, what did you think of the festival tonight? Festival. Here it means a music concert. A festival can be different events, though, or different things. But here it means a music concert. Festival. An example of festival would be, I really enjoyed the music festival. My favorite band played there. Festival. And then Joe says, oh. And O oh is a filler word here. It's not really needed. You could take it out of the sentence and the sentence would still make sense. Joe goes on to say, I thought it was great. So he's saying, I thought it was very good. And then Joe goes on to say, I had a great time the entire day. Or he's saying the whole day. Actually. And actually, when Joe ends a sentence with actually, that's a filler word. It's not really needed. And then I say, yeah. Yeah is casual or informal or slang for yes. And I go on to say, good, good, me too. And then Joe says, you know. And you know is short for you know. You know. And Joe goes on to say, I thought it was a great idea for us all to meet over at Tim's place. I mean, and Joe, what Joe's saying here is, what I'm trying to say is, and he goes on to say, you and I were obviously running late. Or he's saying, you and I were for sure running late. Running late, this means late. Running late. Now, we're not really running here. Running late, it just means late. For example, I was running late to work because the train was not working. Running late. And Joe goes on to say, we're running late because he lives out in the boonies. Now, boonies, this is an area where there is not a lot of other things like restaurants or stores boonies. For example, Tim lives out in the boonies. The closest store is one mile away from his house. Boonies. And Joe goes on to say, but, uh, and uh is just a filler word here. It's not really needed. And Joe says, you know, better late than never. Better late than never. This means it is better to do something late than not at all. Better late than never. For example, sometimes my students come to class late, but it is better late than never. And then I say, yeah, I agree. When you get a group of people together to go to an event like this, or I'm saying to go to a festival, like this or such as this, it just adds to the enjoyment. So I'm saying, or it makes it more of a good time. And I go on to say, you know, the fun. And it's kind of like the saying goes, the more the merrier. 
Now kind of, kind of is just a filler here. It's not really needed. Kind of like the saying goes. Saying. A saying is a group of words with an important meaning. So it's kind of like the saying goes, the more the merrier. So the more the merrier, this is a saying. And what, what it means is the more people with you, the more fun you will have. The more the merrier. For example, we went to the concert with 10 people. We had a great time. I always think the more the merrier. Okay, moving on with the conversation, Joe goes on to say, yeah, I totally agree. So he's saying, yeah, I completely agree. And he goes on to say, and you know, and is a filler word here. It's not needed. And Joe says, I, I think it was really important, or he's saying, I think it was very important that we all went to the concert together in one group because, you know, it was so large, or he's saying it was very big. And he goes on to say, it would have made it really difficult to find uh, people in our group if we would have all gone separately, or if we would have all gone by ourselves. And then I say, right. Right, meaning yes, I'm just agreeing with Joe. And I go on to see, to say, I mean, uh, and Joe says, it actually, or he's saying it really, it actually surprised me because that the crowd was so large. Crowd meaning all the people at the festival. And Joe says, I mean, the tickets cost an arm and a leg. An arm and a leg. What this means is, the tickets cost a lot. Arm and a leg, it means costs a lot. For example, it costs an arm and a leg to buy a new car. Now it doesn't really mean that you're paying an arm and a leg for the car, obviously. It just means it costs a lot of money. An arm and a leg. And then Joe goes on to say, so I was kind of thinking Kinda is short for kind of, and thinking is short for thinking. And Joe says that maybe the crowd wouldn't be as big. Or he's saying, I was thinking the crowd wouldn't be so big. And I say, yeah, but price doesn't usually deter you from going to hear music, right? So I'm saying cost doesn't usually deter you from going to hear music or to listen to music, right? Does it? Deter. Deter means prevent or to keep from. Or to keep someone from doing something, I should say. Deter. For example, people can go to jail if they drive drunk. But this does not deter people from doing it. Does not keep people from doing it. Deter. And then Joe says, no, it's true. You're right. And I say, but, um, and both of these are just filler words. They're not needed for what I'm about to say. Then I go on to say, speaking of us staying together, or talking of us staying together, it just, and just is a filler word here, it just was making me think of the crowds, and I just didn't think that in general, or I'm saying overall, the, the festival was laid out that well. Or I'm saying, the, it just didn't seem like Overall, the, festi the festival was laid out that well, or, or it wasn't laid out very good. Now, laid out, this means organized. Laid out. And Joe says, well, and well is a filler word here. Joe goes on to say, there were four different stages. 
stages or a stage. This is something that bands play on or where actors or actresses pe perform plays. It's usually made out of wood and is made higher than standing or sitting crowds of people so that the people performing on the stage can be seen from far away. And then I say, no, there were six. So I'm saying, no, there were six stages, not four. And Joe says, oh, there were six stages? And I say, yeah. And Joe says, see, see, we only went to two of them. Um here is short for them. And I say, I know. And Joe says, but the uh, stages were kind of far apart. Kind of here means sort of. Kind of. Kind of far apart. For example, I kind of like when it rains. Though, I like sunshine better. Kind of. And Joe goes on to say, and you know what the, the most impractical uh, design was? Design, this means um, the layout or the organization of the festival. And impractical. Impractical means not useful or helpful. Impractical. For example, I thought that some of my classes in college were impractical. Impractical. And Joe goes on to say, I thought that they, uh, they had very narrow walkways between the stages. Narrow walkways. This, what Joe's talking about here, is places to walk between stages or from one stage to another stage to another stage. Places to walk between stages that did not have a lot of space. And then I say yes, agreeing with Joe. And then Joe says, and... And is just a filler word here. It's not needed. Joe goes on to say, Sometimes you had to go through a little tunnel. Like a foot tunnel. Now tunnel, this is a place to walk that goes through or under a blocked area. So it, it lets you or it allows you to walk through or under a blocked area. Tunnel. And I say, yep. Yep is just slang for yes. And Joe says, and uh, there'd be thousands of people trying to go through a space that only maybe 20 people could go through at a time. Or he's saying it, only 20 people could go through at one time. And I say, oh yeah. The crowd would get completely completely bottlenecked bottlenecked this means unable to move because it is too crowded bottlenecked for example everyone left at the end of the concert there were so many people that we could not move it was a complete bottleneck bottlenecked or in this example bottleneck and then Joe says, yeah, exactly. Or he's saying, yeah, for sure. Definitely. And Joe goes on to say, so, trying, trying is short for trying. Trying to go from one stage to the next. Or he's saying, to go from one stage to another stage. And he goes on to say, was just, uh, it took a lot of time and effort he's saying it took a lot of time and energy and I say yeah I agree 
And Joe says, so that was one thing that was, you know, just not properly planned for. Or he's saying it's, it was not very well planned for. And he goes on to say, on their part. What he means here, on their part, he's saying it wasn't very well planned for by the people who planned or designed the festival. Or who organized the festival. And I say, no. So what I'm saying here is no, not at all. I'm agreeing with Joe. It wasn't very well planned. And I go on to say, and then there'd be all these random trails through the woods. Now, random means scattered. Random. And trails through the woods, these are walking paths through areas with a lot of trees. Trails through the woods. And I go on to say that people were trying to forge their way through. Forge means to push through. Forge. And Joe says, yeah, true. And he goes on to say, you know, another thing that uh, was a real hassle, or he's saying was a big hassle, and hassle is inconvenience. Hassle. For example, flying is a hassle because it takes so long to go through security. Hassle. So Joe, Joe goes on to say, it was, or he's saying it was a, a real hassle, was trying to get a beer. And I say, oh my God, yeah. So I'm just showing a lot of emotion while agreeing with Joe. And then Joe says, I mean, the wait, the line was like, and like here is a filler word. And he goes on to say, you know, 120 people long. Now, a line, this is when, this is people standing one behind another one, waiting to buy something or to do something. And then Joe goes on to say, every time you wanted to go get a beer. And I say, yeah, well, first you had to stand in line just for them to check your ID and when I say them, I mean the people working at the festival. And I'm saying to check or to look at your ID. And ID, this is short for identification. So I'm speaking about people working at the festival. They would look at ID cards to make sure people wanting to drink beer were 21 years old or older. So they were 21 years old. They were of the legal age to drink beer, 21 years or older. So I'm saying these people were um, checking ID IDs. And then I go on to say, and get the wristband. Wristband, this is something that you wear around your wrist, wristband. So after these people at the festival, working at the festival, would check your ID to make sure you were 21 years or older, then they would give you this wristband, this thing to wear around your wrist. And Joe says, yeah. And, and then I say, that was bad enough. So what I'm saying here is that was bad enough to stand in this long line to have your ID checked was bad enough without having to wait in a second line then to buy beer. And Joe says, oh, that was an even longer line. So he's saying there were more people in the line where festival workers were looking at ID cards for legal ages to drink beer. That line was longer than the line to buy beer. And I say, yeah agreeing with him. And then Joe says, yeah. And I say, 
I mean, once you had the wristband, though, then it was battling the lines just to get a beer. Battling the lines. This means waiting in a long line. Battling the lines. For example, I hated battling the lines each time I wanted to buy a beer. Battling the lines. And then I go on to say each time. So I'm saying every time you wanted to buy a beer. And then I go on to say, yeah, it was ridiculous. Ridiculous meaning it was a big inconvenience. And Joe says, yeah, if you wanted to go get a beer while the band was playing, you basically, basically is just a filler word here. It's not really needed. So Joe's saying, you basically had to decide or you had to choose whether or if you wanted to see the music. And I say, yep. And Joe goes on to say, or you really wanted a beer. Really here, this is filler. It's not needed in the sentence. And then Joe goes on to say, which was more important to you? So he's saying you had to decide, was it more important to buy a beer or to listen to the music? And then I say, right, agreeing with him. And then Joe says, you had to make a choice, you know? And I say, yeah. And I go on to say, make a list, or I'm saying you had to write down, make a list of pros and cons. Now, pros and cons, these are the good and bad, bad points, pros and cons. Now, obviously, I'm not at this music festival writing down the good and the bad points about whether I wanted to choose to listen to music or to choose to stand in a long line to buy beer. I'm just saying this kind of joking. I'm not being serious. This is, um, this could be called sarcasm. I'm joking. I'm not being serious here. An example of pros and cons. I thought about the pros and cons of going to college in the state of Florida, but I ended up going to school in Georgia. Pros and cons. And then Joe says, yeah, yeah. How thirsty am I? Or he's saying, how much do I want to drink? How thirsty am I? Versus, or compared to, how much do I want to hear this music? So he's just responding to me saying, make a list of pros and cons. And Joe goes on to say, and the lines to the bathroom were really long also. And then I say, yeah, the lines in general were just a hassle. I have to agree. And then Joe says, yeah, I mean, I remember when we were leaving the event, it took us over an hour, or he's saying it took us more than one hour. And he goes on to say, just to get out of the, uh, the stadium. Now stadium, this is a large place where they have sports or music concerts. A stadium is a building um, where they have sports or music concerts. I don't know why Joe said stadium here. He really didn't mean stadium because this music festival was just outside in a park. It wasn't in an actual stadium. But that's what stadium means. A large place or a large building where they have sports or music concerts. And then I say, oh God just showing emotion and Joe says remember there were all these people who were starting starting is short for starting there were all these people who were starting to climb the fences so there were all these people who were starting to go over the fences 
A fence is something used to keep people or animals from entering. And I, or from coming in, from entering, from coming in. And I say, yeah. And Joe says, instead of going through the little uh, tunnel. So he's saying, not going through the little uh, tunnel. People were climbing over the fences. They weren't going through the tunnel. And then Joe goes on to say, I mean, and then I say, yes. And Joe says, and the, the fence, it looked like it was gonna break. Gonna, this is short or slang for going to. Gonna break. So the fence looked like it was going to break or it was going to fall down. There were so many people going over it, climbing over it. And then Joe goes on to say, I mean, it was totally an accident waiting to happen. An accident waiting to happen. This means dangerous, not safe. An accident waiting to happen. For example, one of the steps to Tim's house is broken. It is an accident waiting to happen. And then I say, right, that was something I didn't understand. Like, at Hardly Strictly Bluegrass, I never, I didn't remember seeing fences like that. Hardly Strictly Bluegrass, this is a music festival in San Francisco. It's the name of the music festival. Hardly Strictly Bluegrass. And Joe says, well, you know, Hardly Strictly Bluegrass, that festival is free. Free meaning it doesn't cost any money. And Joe goes on to say, so, you know, I don't think. And then I say, oh, yeah. Like, I'm remembering. Oh, yeah, it's free. It doesn't cost money. And then Joe says, they had to put up barriers to, uh, so he's saying the workers of the festival, I don't think they had to put up barriers. Now barriers, this is something used to keep people or animals from entering. Like fences. Barriers. Something used to keep people or animals from entering or from coming in. So Joe is saying, because this other music festival, Hardly Strictly Bluegrass, is free, they don't put up fences for that because people don't pay. They can just go in anywhere, in, into the park. But the music festival that we're speaking of, that we, just, that we had just gone to, you did have to pay for that. So they had fences up everywhere. They had these barriers, these things to keep people from coming in who had not paid. And then I say, that's okay. So I'm saying this because it's making sense to me now why there were fences for this festival and not fences at the Hardly Strictly Bluegrass Festival. And then Joe says, to entry. So he's saying, you know, they didn't have to put up these barriers to entry. Entry meaning the area or areas where you would go into the festival. And then I say, that makes sense. Or that, I'm saying that's understandable. And I go on to say, I was wondering what the deal was with the fences. So I'm saying, I was wondering or I was asking myself what the deal was. What the deal was, this means what was happening what the deal was. For example, I went to the restaurant at 5 o'clock p.m., but it was closed. I was wondering what the deal was. Then someone told me that the restaurant closes early on Sundays. What the deal was. And Joe says, yes. Starts to say something. And I say, okay. And then Joe says, so... That's why that's, you know, that's why you never have that problem at that festival. 
And I say, right. Like, okay, yeah. I agree with you. Okay, this is the end of the conversation for Music Festival Part 1. And it's the end also of the vocabulary lesson for the conversation Music Festival Part 1. So, as always, Go back if you need to and listen, making sure that you've got a basic understanding of the vocabulary before you move on to the mini story. And then after the mini story, go on to Music Festival Part 2. All right, see you next time. Bye-bye.